quality of service or QoS. That's one of those topics that tends to install a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt into the minds of many a Cisco certification candidate. Hi, my name is Kevin Wallace, and in this quick video, I want to simplify for you a QoS concept called queuing. Imagine that we have a router sitting at the internet boundary of a company. On the LAN side, we're coming in at a gig rate, and on the WAN or the internet side, we're going out at, let's say, 100 meg. That's a 10 to 1 speed mismatch. It's possible that we're receiving traffic into that router about 10 times as fast as we can send it out. So what happens when we're receiving traffic and we cannot send it out because we're out of bandwidth? Well, that router interface going out to the internet or maybe out to a WAN connection, it's going to allocate some memory called a buffer or a queue. And we could think of that like this cup. And imagine that the traffic coming into the router from the LAN is like the water. We've got some traffic coming in and the queue starts to fill up. And the goal is we're going to buffer or we're going to queue enough traffic such that we're not going to drop it until bandwidth demand dies down on the WAN. Then when bandwidth is available, we'll send the traffic out of the buffer or the queue and on its way. The challenge comes in when we have a sustained amount of traffic coming into the router. Our queue is going to fill up and fill up and we're still receiving traffic. And eventually we're going to start to overflow that queue. And that means packets are going to be dropped. And the challenge here is we're dropping all kinds of packets. Our mission critical packets, as well as network gaming traffic, we're dropping voice over IP as an example. In fact, let's say we want to protect that voice over IP traffic. What we can do is take our queue on the interface, that area of memory that we also call a buffer. What we're gonna do is take this one queue and we're gonna logically divide it up into a couple of sub queues. And we'll say one queue is going to receive voice over IP traffic only, and the other queue is gonna be our best effort traffic. So everything else other than the voice over IP traffic, it's gonna go into the best effort queue. And let's say we've got our traffic coming in, we've got a lot of non-voice traffic coming in, a little bit of voice traffic, some non-voice traffic coming in, a little bit more voice traffic, non-voice traffic, and you see what happens. The best effort queue is overflowing at this point, but the voice over IP queue is not overflowing because we've done some basic queue separation. And the specific Cisco IOS utility or feature that we're gonna be using typically to pull this off is called LLQ or low latency queuing. And if you wanna see how LLQ is configured on a Cisco router, then I invite you to join me on August the 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's UTC minus four if you wanna convert for your time zone. I'm gonna be doing a completely free QoS deep dive where we're gonna be getting into a ton of quality of service topics and I'm gonna show you lots of demonstrations. I think you'll really enjoy it because quality of service, that's one of those topics that shows up on just a lot of Cisco certification tracks and exams. It's on the exam blueprint as just a few examples for the CCNA exam, the Encore exam, the CL core exam, the SP core exam. It's really popular and a lot of people just don't understand it. They're a little bit intimidated by it. So if you'll spend four hours with me on August the 11th, again, 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I want to get QoS handled for you. I want you to mark that off on your study list as something you have mastered. Just go ahead and visit the link on screen to get signed up and I'll see you then.